What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of FTB Infinity Evolved Expert Mode. Oh, yeah, guys. So you guys excited for today's episode? I know I am. We got a lot of stuff that we need to do today. So last episode, we were trying to make our way to this tool forge. And as it turns out, we needed these dense refined iron plates, which required a compressor. And yeah, we started down the rabbit hole on how to do all that. We also need a metal former. So we have a compressor and a metal former. Both is what we need. Uh, so we have these listed here. So a metal former is going to require us to have our assembly table hooked up. We did build that in a couple of lasers, maybe four. I can't remember uh, last time. So yeah, we're going to need that. We're also going to need, let's see, these electronic circuits require us to have some rubber. So we need to go on the hunt for some rubber trees. Okay. So once we find rubber trees, we are definitely going to need a tree tap and then we're also going to want to collect the saplings too i would imagine so we can move those things a little bit closer so let's go ahead and make ourselves a tree tap i believe it's like something like that yeah okay i remembered <laughs> okay so we have an ic2 tree tap um on my travels before oh it looks like it's nighttime let's sleep yeah oh no it's not nighttime okay it's not it's not yeah when i was traveling around before i didn't make a waypoint to let's see i see two rubber trees on close so i see two rubber trees are over here which actually is not too far let's go ahead and get out of this all right oh, <laughs> a little bit of lag got myself turned around so yeah i've made myself some more tools uh, i made myself another shovel i used a stone tool head and a paper binding so we have an additional modifier on there. And then I went ahead and I used a lot of the redstone we've been harvesting. Let's kill the skeleton. A lot of the redstone that we've been harvesting to improve the speed on it. So it's actually quite quick. Where is that zombie? It sounds like it's right here. Oh, there it is. I think, <laughs> I think I need to turn my headphones down actually. Cause that sounds really, really loud to me. All right. I think that should be better. Uh, yeah, I've been adjusting my audio settings uh, over these last few episodes. I'm trying to find the right balance. Uh, hopefully everything's going to sound fine for today's episode. Uh, not that things have been sounding bad, but yeah, I'm definitely trying to make improvements to the audio quality. So anyway, let's move over here. Uh, I think we had to go to another biome. Yeah, it's 200. All right, let's 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 run over here real quick and get some rubber. All right, so here's the rubber trees, and we're looking for these little spots on those. Those we can use the tree tap on. Oh, that makes a sound. <laughs> we can use a tree tap on. We can get some resin. Now, the use is for this. I didn't actually check this. Yeah, we melt this down, and it goes into these rubber balls. And then these can be used with the rubber wires, I believe, to make the insulated copper cables or whatever. So let's see if we can find any more spots on this thing. Uh, is it really just like the one? <laughs> it kind of looks like it. Oh, no. Maybe we'll remove some of these leaves. Uh, actually, we should probably be using the hatchet because it's a little bit quicker. Yeah, here we go. We remove some leaves. We got another spot right here. Now, what we could do is just save these logs. You can see that spot is still kind of there. And eventually, that rubber, the resin or whatever will reappear there. Uh, I kind of want to just get some saplings and move some of these rubber trees closer. So let's just break the leaves, I suppose. Is there any other rubber spots over here? Whoa. <laughs> I fell down a hole. <laughs> whoops wasn't expecting that so yeah super shovel is pretty awesome now i like that um are we not getting any saplings i haven't seen a single sapling drop oh no we did get one okay so that's cool give me the rubber give me the resin there's more up there yeah when you break these logs i do believe there's a chance for uh some resin to appear Maybe it's just the ones that normally would have produced the resin. Not entirely sure how all of that works. But yeah, so we're going to get some of this stuff. I'm going to I'm gonna try and find some more of these trees around here. I'm sure there are now that we're in a different biome that actually has these. So yeah, let me collect a little bit of rubber saplings and some more of this resin. And we will continue on. All right, guys. So we got a decent supply of the rubber tree saplings. I did go south a little bit and I found some more in this area here and then i kind of went over this way i found some oak trees and then i found some acacia trees in this biome over here so yeah uh we got some more saplings which is pretty cool so we are up to 13 oak uh 20 acacia and 13 rubber so that's really cool i did see there was one of these stormcraft trees over here and these are the ones with the cobwebs on it which means there is a cave spider spawner and a loot chest underneath it 
I don't know what that is right there. I assume that's part of the tree, but it looks like it's in a different biome. It just looks, di looks different, a little weird. Uh, so let's come over here real quick. We'll throw down some torches, hopefully prevent any of these cave spiders from spawning. Maybe. I think we're fine. I think I just saw... Yeah, it's right there. Okay. Uh, I think we should be light enough where it won't spawn. Oh, we can't get to that chest until we break the cave spider spawner. I don't think we need the spawner for anything. Um... What is that that it turns into? This is a broken spawner cave spider from Ender IO. Okay, so what do we got in here? We have uh, more unknown dimlets. Okay, I think we're gonna get rid of some of this stuff in our inventory that we don't necessarily need. Ender Pearl is pretty good. Uh, we don't need that. We really don't need the music disc. Ender Lily Seed, I will take. Unknown dimlet, I'm not sure if that's important or not. I think we'll take it. Yeah, you know what those other things? Goodbye. <laughs> we'll just go ahead and break it and let them leave them on the ground to despawn at some future time. Cool. So now that we have this stuff, I'm going to try and find a spot to plant some of these trees over near our starting area over here. And yeah, hopefully we'll have like the beginning of a simple tree farm. All right, guys. So I think it makes sense to build a small tree farm on top of our little starting mountain here in the spawn chunk area. Uh, that way, this area is always going to be loaded because it is in the spawn chunks for one. So it's like free chunk loading. We're going to be spending a lot of time in this area anyway because, yeah, it's just going to take a minute for us to get prepared to go off and find a spot to call our permanent base. I don't know if this will be our permanent base here as spawn. It probably won't be. Uh, but I do know that it's going to take us a little bit of time before we reach the point where we're going to move out. So while we're here, let's make it comfortable. Let's just set up some farms and things like that. That makes the most sense to me. Uh, so I shaved this down probably seven or eight blocks. It kind of came up to a smaller point at the very top. So yeah, we just kind of removed those, kind of flattened it out. It's not a really huge area here for farming, but, you know, it's better than trying to go down here in the uneven terrain, I guess, uh, or over there in the desert area. It just makes sense to keep it closer to home, just so when we do need to farm trees and things like that, it won't be ridiculous trek or journey to get over there. Uh, eventually, we will have an automatic tree farm set up, and we'll probably have tesseracts, and we'll, we won't have to worry about the location of our tree farm but for now yep we're gonna do this so i'm gonna go ahead and finish this up plant down some trees uh we don't have a watering can yet in fact you guys are telling me the watering can recipe <laughs> is kind of crazy so we might not have a watering can for a little while i think it requires certain seeds actually if we come in here let's take a look at this real quick watering can yeah uh this right here okay so it requires steel a bowl bone meal beet corn and kiwi seeds in order to make this yeah only one recipe so maybe we should go around to the villages and try and find these specific seeds i bet we can bone meal the ground knock out this grass and we'll potentially have a chance to find those i don't know if that's been disabled or not i've seen oh, i haven't seen any of the uh the pam's harvest craft seeds i have seen like the biomes of plenty seeds like cotton or whatever hmm maybe we're gonna have to get uh, I can't even, what is that thing called? Like a marketplace? Let's take a look if that's even in here. Uh, this thing. So we can get that, but it requires our watering can to do that. And we need all these different, oh man, that's way out of our range. But yeah, in Agrarian Skies too, we were able to make one of those and then buy any different seed that we wanted to. It looks like that is a little bit out of our reach at the moment. So maybe going around to those villages and collecting all the seeds from those makes the most sense at this point. Okay, anyway, let me go ahead and finish this up, guys. All right, guys, so I think we're about to start diving in and getting some of this stuff done. So we're going to work on the metal former first. Uh, so we need two toolboxes, this basic machine casing, which requires this iron chipset. We'll get to that later. Uh, and then we need these coils down here, and these coils require the copper cables, which is copper plates and a cutter. The cutter is a couple of iron plates and some iron. Yeah, so... Uh, here's the toolboxes. I went ahead and I got that done. Oh, I guess those do not stack. Okay, so that's good to know. And then we got cutters here. So with a cutter plus, we need some of these copper plates. So let's... Oh, you can make copper shears, apparently. I didn't know that. Okay, so one of those makes two 
copper wires, I think. So we are going to need a lot of these, actually. Uh, so anyway, we can take these plus the cutters and do that action. So now we got 10 of these guys. And what was it for this? We needed that around a <laughs> an ingot. Let's grab some more of this copper. Okay, do that and that. Now, how many more of those do we need? This eight, so like, I don't know. We're just going to do all of these, I suppose. Like that, 28, that might be a little bit more than what we needed. So anyway, we can take these and wrap those around some of those. Actually, slightly more than what we needed, but I think we still need these uh, later for other recipes, so that's all good. Okay, so we got most of that done. Now we're on to this guy and this electronic circuit. Yeah, we needed more of those copper wires anyway and the rubber for this. Yep, more crafting. Let me just go ahead and do some of this off camera, and we'll be right back. Cool, so the rest of the crafting has been done. Uh, so we have the electronic circuit, we have our toolboxes and these coils made. Uh, so the next piece we need to do is make that machine frame. And in order to do that, we need this iron chipset. So we made the assembly table last time. So we have the lasers in the assembly table. We just need a way to power it and we can go ahead and make this. It's gonna take a minute for this to craft up, but we should be able to do it anyway. Uh, so let's figure out how to get this thing set up. So we have an assembly table and some lasers. I'm not really sure where we're gonna put this thing. Uh, maybe, maybe here. Yeah, I think so. Okay, you know what? Let's place this down right now, and then we will move this wall back just a little bit. I think this has to be spaced. The lasers might have to be spaced a little bit further away, like one block away, if I remember correctly. I might be remembering incorrectly. Uh, so we got laser, 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 laser. Something like that should be fine. Now we have to provide these guys with power and yeah so how are we gonna do that we can make pipes and stuff but there's a new mod in this mod pack called immersive engineering and i've already looked into it a little bit basically you need these treated sticks and some copper where my copper go there we go let's grab four copper uh we don't have a crafting table available let's empty this one out real quick so that and then we put the copper right like this and we get these lv wire coils so yeah now we got four of those and we got eight of these lv wire connectors these are actually uh not too expensive so the wire connector is just some hardened clay and some copper and you get eight of those and then the lv wire as you saw was that treated stick and then that and you get two of these so maybe the the wires are a little expensive but copper isn't that hard to come by uh, so we need a way to get behind these things. Yeah, we have to connect power to these. Now, I haven't really used this mod before. I've just seen it used a little bit. So I'm going to be learning this as we go. But I do believe all we have to do is put these little LV connectors on every single thing that needs power. Just like you would with other types of power connectors. Okay. So that and that. Maybe we'll break out this wall. I think we're going to try and connect over to this hobbyist steam engine for now since that's our only form of power. Uh, so I think we can take these. And all we got to do is just kind of right click from there to there, there to there, there to there. There we go. And we got one wire left so we can connect from one of these over to our power supply. So I think we're just going to go ahead and remove this for now. And I... <laughs> remove some blocks down here and I never filled that in whoops just fill this in real quick I will replace those with proper blocks here in a little bit I guess we might as well uncover this back here and get a torch so we can see what we're doing that much easier just like so okay so now that we got that we should be able to put one more of these LV connectors actually maybe we should change the orientation of this machine I don't think it really matters, but I think it'll just look better overall if we do that. Um, you know what? That should be fine, actually. So we'll just stick this. No, we need to put the LV connector here. And then we can just right click from here to there. And that should be powering all of the different lasers. I like the way this looks. It's like an actual wire running instead of just pipes or whatever. So yeah, that's the way we got this set up now. Uh, this thing is going to require a little bit of water to get going. We saw that previously. Uh, last episode, right? It also needs a redstone signal, so let's move this over here. And I think we should be about ready to go. We're just going to need some iron and some redstone for the assembly table to do its thing. So let's get grab four of those, four of these. Oh, we also need coal. I forgot. We need coal. We'll tell it the iron chipset. 
Uh, let's grab the coal so we can turn the hobbyist steam engine on. Like so. Do a little redstone signal action. And yeah, it's just going to take a minute to heat up. But yeah, this should provide... I believe that should provide enough power for all of these things to turn on. At least I hope so. Uh, this thing only makes 16 RF a tick. Now, I do believe we could make another steam engine stick it next to it and then connect those together and all that power run through the same wire. But yeah, it's going to require another one of these LV wire connectors and another wire, though. Uh, so we'll see how this thing goes. Hopefully, we'll see some lasers. Oh, we saw a flash of laser. It did something kind of for like a split second. Oh, look. <laughs> okay, yeah, obviously this is gonna take a minute for this thing to charge up. So let's go ahead and give it a minute, see how this goes, and if we're able to make enough power to do this, and we'll be back, guys. More time has passed, and we weren't making enough power, so I decided to make three of these survivalist generators over here, which is pretty cool. It looks like we might be reaching the, the limit of these cables. I don't know, this one's making power, and we can see it in there, whereas these other ones, I guess they are too. They're just not really showing up on the tooltip as much as this one. That one's I can see going up to 13. But anyway, uh, yeah, so we have these all run <laughs> the same power cable all the way over there. And they're powering these lasers. And the lasers are constantly staying on now, which is pretty cool. Uh, so we are making this stuff still pretty slow, guys. <laughs> it's still pretty slow. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty slow. But we've already made one, so it's not so bad. But anyway, uh, this will go over time. Uh, so we can go and stick this here and there we go. There's a basic machine casing So we made our first one and then we can go ahead and stick that here and there is a metal former So this says that it needs EU a tick power and we're currently making RF So we're gonna have to make a new type of power supply for this All right, so we got the metal former done <laughs> uh, We can go ahead and remove that actually we can remove the metal former from our little thing too So now we're down to two items that we need uh, so the metal former we had, so we can put steel in, I believe. Let's take a look at this one more time, just to refresh our memory. So refined iron plate. Yeah, we need to put steel in a metal former with the rolling mode to make a refined iron plate. Then we need nine of those to turn into uh, a dense refined iron plate. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna need like what is that 36 of these things total to make our tool forge But once we get to this point things are gonna be a lot easier. But anyway, let's not jump ahead We need to find something that's gonna make RF a tick. Can we just type that in? Is that something? Okay, yeah, this all says RF slash tick So I think what we need to find is some kind of like a generator or something along those lines. Maybe it doesn't show here. All right Let's not do that Let's search for Generator, I think IC2 has a generator in here. It's been a long time since I've looked at this stuff. Solid heat generator, power output 20 HU a tick. That's not what we're looking for. Oh man, all right, here we go. Geothermal generator, I remember those are pretty good. And a regular generator, a power output 10 EU a tick. So a regular generator requires an iron furnace, which is a regular furnace and some iron plates. All right, so we can do that, that's not that big of a deal some more iron plates and then re battery which is 10 item casings and this electro time stuff we have a lot of that actually uh that's project red yeah we have a lot of that uh so let's see the geothermal oh can we not make geothermals we cannot make that so we have to make the regular generator and we have to make this battery all right so uh insulated tin cable which is tin cable tin plate cutter yep we've seen all this stuff very much the same. Then we just smash a tin plate with the forge hammer to get the item casing. Cool. Let me go ahead and make one of these. We will power up our metal former and hopefully we'll be able to roll out some plates. I don't think we're going to have quite enough steel, so I should probably get some more of that cooking up. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that and we'll be back, guys. All right, so the stuff for this battery should be about done by now. Uh, so we have, yeah, here we go. We have all this stuff done here. So here's our RE battery, and then we can place that here, and there is our generator. Cool. So suitable power. Uh, I also made myself a ranch. This cost a bunch of bronze, but yeah, we needed this stuff, or we needed this so we can remove these machines. I do believe IC2 machines, if you just break them with the pickaxe, you only get like the machine casing back or something. You need the wrench to get everything back. 
Now we're running out of room here. I'm really not sure why I need to put these IC2 machines. I think we're probably going to, well, if I didn't have these berry bushes here, I would probably stick it back along this wall. Uh, what I should do is do like a basement or something like that. But before I get too crazy with the digging, I want to have better tools so I can dig stuff out with so we can get the tool forge going and all this stuff so we can, you know, make a bigger and better base. So for now, I think we're just going to stick this over here. We'll do the generator on the bottom. We'll do the metal former on top. This should provide uh, the EU power to this guy. And I do believe it has an internal buffer. Yeah. So we need to grab some charcoal or some coal. We'll probably just do coal. Do some coal. All right. And get this powering up. Oh, that makes sound too. We're going to need another sound muffler. All right, so this is getting power. And then once this gets full, this thing will get its buffer going over here. All right. Uh, so now we need some steel. And we need to put this on, not extruding. I think it was the rolling. All right. So put steel in there on the rolling setting. Come on. Come on, do it. Do it. <laughs> And there we go. There's one refined iron plate. We only need eight more for that one dent, and then we need to do that three more times to get all four of those. But yeah, guys, we are well on our way here. So let's remove this. Okay, so the next thing we needed was this compressor. All right, so the compressor is another basic machine casing and the electronic circuit. Uh, I haven't made that stuff yet, but we have plenty of these things being generated over here, these iron chipsets. I went ahead and I put more redstone and iron so we can make more of these things, so we can make more of these casings. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make another one of those. We'll make that compressor, and then hopefully we'll have enough steel, eventually, sometime, <laughs> to uh, make the dense iron plates, or the dense refined iron plates and all this stuff. But anyway, let me go ahead and do some more work, guys, and we'll be back. All right, guys, so the last of the refined iron plates have been crafted, and here's our compressor, so we can just stick it in there. I don't know why this thing is so loud, but these machines, they seriously are. So anyway, we got the last of that in our compressor here, and that'll be compressing that into our last dense refined iron plate. And there we go. Sweet. All right, so that was my computer, not yours. Don't worry about it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the game crashed again. I get those uh, NVIDIA Error 8s or something like that. It happens sometimes with modern Minecraft. But anyway, uh, we needed to make this tool forge, which is three of these seared bricks, four of these dense refined iron plates, and a tool station. So we are pretty much there. So we got those, we got this, and we just need to grab our tool station, which is this guy down here. All right, so let's go ahead and get this thing crafted. Oh, this is awesome. There we go. A tool forge. We did it. We did it, guys. We did it. So now this unlocks all of the better tools. We can do, you know, three by three areas. Uh, we can chop down entire trees. We can attack mobs in an area of effect. We can make a crossbow. I hear this is supposed to be one of the best weapons in the game. I don't know anything about that. If you guys know about those crossbows, uh, leave it in the comments. Tell me which is the best way to make these things and we'll look at doing that uh, But yeah, this is super super awesome So now we can make ourselves a hammer and then we can go ham <laughs> and just start uh, Mining all the things collecting all the resources. That's gonna be really great. Uh, we are gonna have to look for The silky jewel because we're gonna want to silk touch a lot of our stuff. I imagine uh, so, okay, so that's just aluminum brass nugget with string, or we can do gold nuggets, gold coins. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, definitely going to want a silk touch at some point. We're also going to want fortune. Uh, yeah, so I tell you guys what, I'm going to go ahead and make myself a hammer real quick. Uh, I believe all we have to do is the same stuff we've done before. Just make a pattern in here, make the hammer head. We have to make the large plates, and we have to make the... Um, the tool rod, the tough tool rod. I don't know where that is over here. We'll find it. But yeah, let me go ahead and get this stuff done and we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. So here we are back in the branch mine. You can kind of see what I've done down here. I did another poke hole mine between last episode and here, but this hammer is going to make this a complete game changer. Like before you kind of got to, you know, poke a little bit of holes and it takes a lot of time and it's kind of slow or whatever. 
Let's get the raid things next to the hammer. But yeah, with the hammer, we can just go ahead and go ham. We don't really have to worry about any of that garbage. Uh, well, okay. <laughs> things like gravel are gonna make it take just a little bit longer, but you know, it's all good. It is all good. I am fine with that. I spent enough time doing this one block at a time. I am ready to move on to the next step. Uh, you know what we could do is put torches next to here too, and then I can just right click and light things up. But yeah, this is gonna make mining so much faster, guys. Look at all this iron we're getting <laughs> right now. That is amazing. That is awesome. We need to put one block right there. Oh man, oh man. So I'm gonna be able to go through here and in no time at all, collect a lot of cobblestone, collect a lot of resources. Oh, this is gonna be so good, guys. Yep, there's some ferris. I like it. In no time at all, we've already gone down about the same length as my poke hole mine, collecting all of the resources. Ah, I love it, guys. I'm probably gonna go through here. Hopefully we're gonna find some lapis so I can get fortune on this thing. But I'm probably just gonna go through here and just remove all of the blocks. <laughs> and the best thing about this tool is since we made it out of cobblestone, you see all the cobblestone we're collecting right now, right? So we can just put a tool station down like so. Put some cobblestone around the outside like that. Put our stone hammer right here. And you know, 16 cobblestone later, 17 later, it's fully repaired. And look at all this extra cobblestone that we still have on us that we can use for whatever. Like <laughs> we're not wasting resources at all. We're collecting a lot of stuff. It is so good. Oh man, game changer. I'm super excited about this. I'm gonna be doing all of the mining. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I think we're going to go and wrap the episode up here for today. Uh, remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.